Hey guys, what up? It's the Tominator here, and today I wanted to talk about the current Mr. Olympia, Sean Roden, and specifically what the heck is going on with his arms. Because you can see comments littered all over YouTube about how he has no arms, or at least that those guns are not worthy of an Olympia champion, and I can kind of see that point, but feel it's a little unfair. Look, Roden's arms aren't his strong suit. I think we can all agree there's a lot of other bodybuilders out there with more outstanding biceps and triceps development. But what's interesting is that if you go back just a couple years, Roden's arms looked a whole lot bigger and more impressive, especially here in the front double. So the photo on the left is from the 2014 Arnold Classic, where he took second to Dennis Wolf, And you can immediately note the huge size discrepancy between this and the 2018 image on the right. His left arm in particular looks like it was about 50% larger back then, it's crazy. And for what it's worth, I prefer his old version easily here. While his lines are still very clean and aesthetic in 2018, his proportions were definitely better overall back in 2014. This reminds me a lot of a vintage Victor Martinez actually, and I don't think anybody's ever accused Victor of having shitty arms. And though it's not as glaring, this held true from the back as well. Now, it's his right arm that looks to have the bigger size advantage. But regardless, I think it's pretty obvious that his buys and tries looked way more massive back then than they do now. And now let's jump forward a couple years to 2016. This was the time when he finished second to Phil, and it was probably his best conditioning until 2018, and you can see his arms still look significantly bigger in this shot. Now, I don't know if he was sight enhancing more back then or whatnot. It's tough to tell with Roden because he genetically just doesn't have much separation in this area, so they always tend to look smooth no matter what, and that's often a giveaway to some sort of sight enhancement oil usage. But in Roden's case, it's hard to say, so it's not really productive to speculate about that. What I can tell you, though, is that there's two other variables that could help account for this. Number one is posing execution. Notice the angle of his elbows is different. They're more open in the right picture and more closed in the one on the left, especially his left arm, which is almost 90 degrees in 2018, but closer to 45 degrees in 2016. And it was the same thing before in 2014 as well. And it might not sound like much, but that's going to have an impact on the biceps because when the hand is drawn closer to the shoulder like that, it promotes a greater contraction, causing the muscle to sort of ball up on itself and increasing biceps height. So that extra elbow flexion is definitely a factor here. The second reason is conditioning. Now, in general, conditioning is crucial and highly desirable in bodybuilding, especially at the upper levels. That's usually the thing that puts certain guys over the top, because the judges tend to reward those finer details, the sharp separation and striations and vascularity, that hard, grainy appearance. That's conditioning, and you need to be dry and peeled in order for that to show. But what nobody ever seems to mention is that this often comes at a cost, and that cost is a loss of fullness, and eventually even muscle mass. I mean, think about it guys, skeletal muscle is over 70% water, so when you're purposefully depleting and dehydrating yourself to get ready for a contest, you're naturally going to lose some of that muscle volume. Now these guys can counter that to an extent by carving up and pumping up before they head out on stage, but that can only go so far. So it's a very tight line to walk in order to maintain muscle fullness while simultaneously getting super shredded. That's an incredibly hard balance to strike, since when your body's not holding any water, you're typically going to look a little flat. And I think that's exactly what happened in 2018 to Sean Roden. He was absolutely ripped. Just look at the deep cuts in the side of his thigh here, and it's clear the man was peeled out of his mind. But I think in the process, he also may have lost some volume in his arms. Of course, it could be something else as well. Maybe he just hasn't been training his arms as hard or effectively as he used to, and they've simply downsized a bit. He could have been focusing more on bringing up his back or his legs and not giving them the same attention that he used to. Or like I mentioned earlier, it could be a matter of the sight enhancement stuff. Maybe he was injecting a lot more oil back then and he cut back on that now. But again, I don't really want to call attention to that because I have no evidence to support that accusation. Anyway, I guess the point of this video is just to point out that Roden's arms used to look more massive, especially in that signature front double bicep shot, and I think the people who want to bash him for not having any arms should maybe go back and review some of his previous appearances. Alright, that's it for this one guys, just a little observation I made recently and figured I'd share with you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and as always, I'm the Tominator signing out, and I'll be back!